today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this logo right here and we're going to use Pixlr E for that. And this is my old video. So this is uh, one for the old Pixlr E and now they've changed it. So we're making an updated version. So I'm going to click on Pixlr E and I want to go to create new and I would like to go something big. A full HD would be good and I'm just going to put in uh, the assignment name. This is it right here, assignment E, making a logo. You can put anything you want in there. And um, I'm going to create. Now what I'd like to do is um, I would like to get a background color in here, and I'm just going to put um, just any color will do. I'll just put some blue in there, and I'm going to get the paint bucket and dump it in there. And I want to create a new layer with some text. And I'm just going to put my initials. And I want to change the font here to this Raider Crusader. If you don't have this, you may have to Google it, or you can go to my webpage and get it. Um, also, if you're doing this from Google Classroom, you will see that it is on um, Google Classroom also. I, I think I'm going to put my middle initial in there too. OK. OK, so we've got that layer. I'm, this is the size I'm going to do it. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And then I want to change the opacity, which is called transparency here yeah, for both layers. And I think I'm going to rename one of these layers, too. Um, this one here, the top layer, I'm going to change the name to um, small. So I know what the name is. And then since it's small, I'm going to make the uh, text size smaller. I want to make it a little bit smaller and just kind of center it because I'm going to use the corners of this for my um, for my project. Okay. And, you know, usually I like to kind of center it. So I got these corners. I see some of these corners back here. And um, sometimes it's difficult to do, but I just kind of look at it and figure it out. Okay, so I've got two here. I've got the small one in the background and the large one. I'm going to put that right on top. Okay, I can change the opacity of each of these and change the color. If I don't want them white, and I want to go with black. Sometimes working with black is a little bit easier. Sometimes you could work with black and white, you know, and this works pretty good. You don't get confused. So I've got one black, the large one black, and the small one white. Now I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm just going to do an empty layer. And this is going to be my outline. So I'm going to be on this layer, and I'm going to work on this. Okay? So I'm going to outline these black letters. And to do that, I'm going to get the uh, shape tool, and I'm going to change the, um, the mode to draw instead of design, because these are the tool, two tools I want right here. Um, I'm going to go with the line, and I want this line to be white. So I'm going to change the color here to white. Now I want to start outlining my letters. And uh, I'll make it a little bit bigger so I can see it. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. And you'll notice I have it at five pixels. That's kind of big, but you know, it, it's fine. Sometimes I like it a little bit smaller, but I think the five pixels do a little bit better job on it. Now you'll notice I left the curve empty. And there's a reason for that, and I will show you that in a little bit. Okay, so I outline that. Try to do the corners a little bit better than I did. I, I'm doing it very fast. And you, if you take your time, you will do a better job. But we want to make sure that there's no gaps in the corners. And I'm just outlining the letters. That's all I'm doing. Try to be precise, but I'm also doing this really fast so you don't have to sit and watch me for a long time. And the straight lines are easy. Oops, I think I did something wrong. So I'm going to go back. I... Uh, I think I got my letters confused because it's just a little bit weird here. This little spot, I think, 
that I'm supposed to go down to here. Okay, I think I got that fixed. Yeah, that looks right. So now let's do the M. And you can see that this, not too bad. It goes pretty fast. Try to be accurate as much as possible. And I know with the, the touchpad, it's really difficult. I, I wish you all had mice. I mean, the mice really just make it easier. But if you don't have one, you don't have one. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I've got all the edges done. And I want to use this curved line here to get this curve here. And I'm just going to go from this edge to this edge and then let go and pull it right out to curve it. And I don't quite like that. I'm going to redo that. I don't think that looks very good. So I'll try it again and see if I can do a little bit better job. That's a little better. You know, I, I probably can live with that. I could pro also probably go back and erase a little bit of this if I want to. I could just grab the eraser and try to erase just a little bit of it. Might make it a little bit nicer. Okay. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to go back and get my line tool. And I want to go from this corner of the big um, letter to the corner of the small letter. But I never want to draw through a letter. So never draw through the letter. Okay. And now that I've done that for the J, I just want to outline the back portion of this. And I'm kind of outlining the small letter. It's just a couple of lines on this one here. So I outline that. Let's try the E. So I'm going to go from this corner to this corner. And I'm going to get all the corners that I can draw, but never drawing through the letter. And this one here to right here. And I've got quite a few really slight ones right here. And that's okay. So I'm going to draw, and this one's really difficult because it's just, there's not much there to see. But I got some little lines. So now I want to do the back portion of it, the three-dimensional back line. And remember, I never want to draw through any of the letter. I just want to draw to the line. And then there might be a little line back here, but I don't know about this. That's a little iffy right there. Okay, I've got that one done. So let's do the M. I want to draw the corners back. And every corner, every time it changes angle, that's where I want to look and see if I can draw a line. And remember, I never want to draw through the letter. That would make it like kind of, you know, see-through, and I don't want to do that. Okay, I've got all the corners that I can draw. So now let's draw right here. And I got one right there I can draw. And remember, don't draw through the letter. Now I know this is hard to see, so let's turn off the, the uh, small layer. And you can kind of see where I've got um, my letters all drawn here and see I've got a little bitty blank space here we don't want that make sure that if you have little corners like that that are not completely closed it could be a problem so you may have to just take your um, pencil and make sure that those are closed and then if you've got some that need to be erased because you didn't do a very good job there you can erase them Okay, well, that's not bad. Okay, well, I could probably do some erasing up here, but I can do that later also. I'll maybe draw a little line there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to fill in the three-dimensional parts with a color. So I'm going to get some nice gray colors, and I'm going to go with a lighter gray, and I'm going to do everything that... Whoops, I need to dump it in. 
a lighter gray right there and everything that's like in, I can see from the top I'm gonna to put this lighter gray and that's the only one maybe like right in here I don't know yeah that's fine then I'm going to darken the gray up a little bit and I'm gonna play places that might show a little bit of um, more dark that maybe you could see a little bit and then I'm going to go a little bit darker gray and maybe I'm going to go in here and in here and in here and just do in there then I can go a little bit darker gray and maybe I go here and here and then I'm going to go a little bit darker gray. And I'll go in here, and there, and there. Whoops. That means that I made a mistake somewhere. I've got a little empty spot. I could, I could see it right there. Um, so I've got to fix that. I think that's the last one I have to do also. So I need to grab a white um, line again. Got the line. And close that up. And that's because I went too fast. That's all there is to it. Now to get that really dark gray, I'm just going to use the eyedropper and get the paint bucket again and just drop it in there. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to put a picture in the letters. And um, I would like to put a picture in the background. So to put a picture in the letter, I need, I need a picture. And so let's see if I have one. Oh, I have this tree right here. Let's let's get that. You can come up with something better than I, I've got. I just have this um, on my desk. So that's the reason why I'm using it. Okay, so we've done this before. Um, this was taken by Mrs. McCormick, teacher here. And I thought it was a really nice picture. We were going to um, use um, watercolors and paint this. I, I was thinking we were going to do that in art too. So... Okay, um, so I've got my letters in the picture here. So I'm going to put my letters on the top, and I'm going to get my magic wand and select my letters. And you can see it selected all the outside. If I have a letter that's enclosed, like an O or an R or an A, I have to hold the shift down and select in there also. Now I'm going to go to the picture and get my eraser. So I'm on the picture layer. I'm going to get my eraser, and I'm going to make this really big. and I'm going to erase everything. Now I'm going to deselect by going uh, Control or Command D, depending on your computer. And I'm going to turn off my text layer there. And you can see I've got my picture inside my letters. OK. Now I want to drag my outline up to the top so I have the outline on there really well. And I need a picture for the background. So let's add a picture for the background. I don't see that I have any good pictures here. Um, maybe I have some in here. Let's see if I can find one. And it would probably be better if you had pictures ahead of time. I'm just grabbing pictures that I, I have sitting on my desktop. Oh, here's one of Bloomington High School. How about that one? Um, There we go. And I painted this an oil painting that we did in class. OK, so that's my background. And I'm just going to drag it down here below. Hmm, it's a little bit busy. But, you know, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So let's find a picture. What a space photo. There we go. That's a that's a really cool one. I like that one. Let's get that. Let's change this because I'm I'm not liking this. So I'll just um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete that. I hate it so much. Whoop! Didn't mean to do that. Image. There we go. And on my desktop, we got our nice space picture. 
Okay, I like that better. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Now I don't need this layer with the color on there. I can just delete that. Oop. Okay, there we go. So um, now what I can do is um, I thought I might just move this around a little bit. Oops, don't want to do that. I'm going to erase that stuff down there. I think that's on the picture right there. I'm going to get an eraser and erase that. It didn't show up until I moved it. Okay, I erased it. Now I want to add one more layer and just add some text there. And I want to use the same font, the Raider Crusader. Make it a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit bigger than that. And I want to type in um, Digital Art 2021. And I'm just going to move this. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I want to move this digital art. Oh, here's the problem. I'm going to move that up to the top. Okay. So now I'm done with it. All you got to do is file and save that. You can save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to download that. And then in seven seconds, it's ready to go. It's that easy. And I know I went quickly, but if I went too quickly, just pause the video and then you can go back and look at how I did it and um, you can do it the same way. Okay, that's it for this video and I will see you guys next time.